What's up everybody, this is John with John Fit Innovations bringing you another science lesson. So today I'm going to show you how to use the pH formula. Now before I get to the video, if you enjoy it, do make sure you hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment on maybe another science topic you'd like me to tackle, and if you really enjoy the video, do make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date for all the videos as they come out. And if you've done so already, thank you so much because it honestly really does help out the channel. Now pH is a term that maybe a lot of people have heard. Uh, you may have heard it from your friends, you might have heard it on television, uh, you may have seen it in your everyday life. For example, we had to get the pH level of our pool because we wanted to clean it. So it's a lot more common than people think. Strictly speaking, what pH is, is a scale of whether something is acidic or basic. The closer it is to zero, for example, is the more acidic something is. And it goes up to 14, where something being 14 is considered to be very basic. And if we look at the middle of this, pH of 7, we consider this to be neutral, so things like water. Now, if you look at, say, something that's very acidic, like the stomach acid in your body, this would be very close to 0. But if we look at cleaning products, let's say like bleach, for example, this is very basic, so this value would be closer to 14. And we use this to determine whether something is acidic or basic. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail about the chemistry of this today, but as a way we determine pH is through the concentration of hydrogen atoms that are available in our substance. Now, we use this concentration in our formula to calculate the pH level. Now, the formula for pH can seem a little bit scary, but it's not half as bad as it may first seem, so do bear with me. The formula we're going to be using today is pH equals negative log of the concentration of hydrogen atoms. And when we're doing this, you can notice that we've actually got log now log is the inverse value of a base number, so when we're dealing with power-ups. The great part about this is that you don't actually have to worry too much about the mathematics in this sense, because we're using log base 10, which is the most common one. So if you get your calculator out, for example, and you see the words log, that one's already set to log base 10, so you don't have to worry too much about changing or um, your logs or having to use different bases. So it keeps it pretty simple when we're calculating pH. All you need is a scientific calculator. So let's do a couple of examples and see how we use this pH formula. So the first one we've got here is a bucket of water is mixed with some cleaning chemicals and we're given that this solution has a hydrogen concentration of 1.51 times 10 to the power of negative 11. Now, knowing that cleaning products are on the basic side, I can already make an assumption that it's going to be higher than the value of 7. Also, when we're dealing with uh, inverse logs, the smaller the number is, the bigger our value is, which again would indicate that I'm going to get something of the higher end, so something closer to 14, as opposed to getting a lower value, which is closer to 0 on our acidic side. But let's put it in our formula anyway. Now all we have to do is just put this value, our 1.51 times 10 to the power of negative 11, into our formula. So we put this into our calculator, so negative log 1.51 times 10 to the power of negative 11. And this is going to give us a value of 10.82, which makes sense because this is uh, higher than 7 and it's going towards 14. It's probably a little bit diluted. I probably would expect it to be maybe closer to 11 or 12. So it could be a very uh, diluted uh, solution. But there you have it. That's how you calculate pH for that problem. So we'll do one more and hopefully it makes a little bit more sense. So this time we're going to use vinegar. Now vinegar is actually considered to be very acidic. So again, this time around, I'm going to be expecting to get a lower value. I'm going to be expecting to get a value that's closer to zero. And we're given that the hydrogen concentration is 3.2 times 10 to the negative 3. So it's a lot bigger than the one we got before. And again, remember I said the bigger than the bigger uh, the smaller the number, the bigger our pH is going to be. So the smaller our pH is, the bigger our concentration needs to be. So because we've got a bigger number, again I'm expecting it to be below 7. So again, all we have to do is take our formula, our pH equals negative log uh, of the concentration of hydrogen atoms, and we put this into our solution, which is 3.2 times 10 to the negative 3. And what we end up getting is 2.48, or roughly 2.5, if you want to round it up. And this makes sense, because this is quite acidic. 
So there you have it. That's how you use your pH formula. All you have to do is take your concentration of hydrogen atoms and put it into your calculator with negative log. And it's that simple. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that. Do practice yourself because honestly, the best way to learn these things is through practice and doing it yourself and having a go in your own problems. But always stay safe, be kind to one another, and I'll see you next time.